Hello, this is Mark Wildman of Wildman Athletica, and today we are going to talk about our single leg kettlebell Romanian deadlift. The single leg Romanian deadlift is an excellent kettlebell exercise. There are several versions of it. We're going to start with this version first, which is kind of the simplest version. There are two ways to do this based on your previous athletic training, the bent leg version and the straight leg version. We'll kind of throw them both into this video. Normally, deadlifting is a primary athletic training implement that we do. In almost every hardcore athletic program there is, at some point you do some type of deadlift. The problem with kettlebells is, is they are not super heavy. They are intermediate weights. So you can do plain old deadlifts with them, but we usually add complexity to the system in order to maximize using intermediate weights instead of using maximally heavy weights. You could do a suitcase deadlift, which we have covered in previous videos. This single leg version of the deadlift is one of the kind of the favorite ones that you use for models because it is an excellent booty developer for girls who run catwalk. Kind of a weird thing, but it's true. With this exercise, we are going to take our foot and we are going to point it straight ahead. I'm gonna say that all the time. I know it annoys some people, but trying to do something like a Romanian deadlift with any type of turnout is not a great idea because your body will follow your foot once you go to one leg. Turning out is something people do with heavy barbell exercises because they're heavy barbell exercises. With intermediate weights, we tend to wanna to point our feet straight ahead so that we can work on these transitionary movements. We're gonna take our foot, point it straight ahead, and I like to just go ahead and take it all the way up, kick it into the kettlebell. From here, straighten your leg all the way out. Pull your kneecap up, squeeze your glute. If your glute is not on, you are not doing this correctly yet. The point of this exercise is to make the glute and the hamstring work better. Take this other leg, pick it up off the ground. Two ways to do this. First way, bend the knee, but keep the heel on the ground. Go down, two hands on the kettlebell. Pack the shoulders. Stand all the way up at the top. Pull your kneecap up, squeeze your glute at the top. Pull your shoulder blades back. You're gonna find it's hard to balance here. That's fine. Drag the weight down your leg. Don't crush your toe. Should end up right in front of your toe. You could do all kinds of fancy stuff with your rear leg if you're a ballerina. If you're not, just make it easy. Make it do whatever it needs to do as long as it's not on the ground. From here, stand all the way up. Squeeze your leg all the way straight. Squeeze your glute, tuck your tailbone underneath. Go ahead and touch. Stand up. Go down and touch. Stand up. At the top, roll your shoulder blades back. Squeeze your lats. Drive your rib cage down and bring your hip underneath. All the way underneath. This exercise is always hard. Doesn't matter how many times you do it. I've done it a lot. I'm really good at single leg stuff from doing years of Kung Fu, and this is always challenging. You're gonna find your ankle flexing really hard and the arch of your foot probably gonna scream at you. Any amount of turnout is gonna do weird things to the way your foot fires. If your body doesn't wanna point your foot straight ahead or if your ankle is still collapsing when you're doing that, go ahead and point your foot five degrees in. That's fine that will force your arch to fire a little bit harder. It's a cheap trick that totally works for people with bad foot arches. The second way to do this activity is with a perfectly straight leg. Some people don't recommend that. I recommend all kinds of poisonous exercises or poisonous ranges of movement because we find them in athletics. Ballerinas hit full extension all the time. Circus performers hit full extension under load all the time. This is a fine way to work on it. Take your foot, point it straight ahead kick the kettlebell. From here, two hands are gonna grab. This foot can do anything it wants, but right now we're just gonna float it off the ground. You can lift it all the way up and do some yoga poses, but for the most part, most people are just gonna pick it up one inch off the ground. Make this leg all the way straight. Pull the kneecap up. In this version, pulling the kneecap up stays on the entire time. What we're doing is we're taking out the knee bend out of this activity. We're gonna push this leg all the way straight and we're gonna to try to keep it straight. This is way harder. Try and flatten the back out, fire the lats. There you go, that was a good rep. All the way down. Stand all the way up, up, losing my balance. Put your toe down, regain balance, and go again. Touch, stand up, touch, 
stand up, touch, stand up. The straight leg version is very hard and if you don't do it a lot, it's very hard. What you're gonna feel is the ball of your foot crushing down into the ground and your arch of your foot firing very hard. Very good, very hard. This is the version we use very commonly when we're training ex-dancers because dancers are used to being in full extension with their kneecap pulled up. The safety measure for this exercise is pulling the kneecap up. Take this muscle and straighten your leg and pull it up. If your leg is straight but this muscle is lax, probably not gonna feel great over time. Pulling the kneecap up fires the quad which causes the hamstring to come into a straighter position. Dancers do it all the time. Circus performers do it all the time. Depends on which version you need to do. If you don't have a requirement to be a dancer or a circus performer, then go ahead and probably do that leg bent version where you go down and you stand all the way up. But straighten your leg all the way out at the top. Avoid the go down, stand up, keeping the leg bent thing. Go ahead and just drive that leg back, tuck your tailbone underneath, squeeze that glute. The point of kettlebells is always glute strength. If you do kettlebells and you don't have rock solid booty, something has gone wrong. Use this exercise, plug it in to force and isolate that range of motion. Hamstring on, glute on, cross body stabilization. We'll come back and we'll do other versions of this in the future.